ambience match. Have you guys ever used the ambience match tool within RX? There are times, this is a, uh, pardon me, there, this is a show I did, just cut dialogue on it. It was about a space telescope. And people that work in science are very passionate about their science. And when we spoke with this gentleman here, the interviewer could not get an, a word edgewise and this guy just kept talking and talking and talking. So I couldn't produce any fill because there was I couldn't cut between words. I couldn't make it sound smooth because this gentleman is so into his space <laughs> that he just couldn't stop talking about it. So what I want to show you is a way that you can go in with a very, very small amount of, of uh, ambience. Let me just make sure I'm not blowing you guys out. Why we're here. <laughs> Can you guys all hear why this? We're, why we're here. So, right at the end, let me just play this little piece of the interview. You can hear that the guy, right after he says what he's saying, the interviewer asks him a question. I've got maybe like nine frames of fill, and if I take that and loop it, gee, 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 it's going to sound really bad. It's going to sound like a bad EDM track. It's lit up with the beautiful structures that we observe in it today. That's why we're here today. So I've got about that, right? That one little space. So what we can do is let's work with this in RX. We can either do it through the standalone or the plugin. Let's show you the plugin version. We're going to go for RX6 ambience match under noise reduction. Uh, in Pro Tools, I usually I use the uh, category uh, plugin organization. You guys might use manufacturer. If you do, it would be under isotope. Um, so what I'm going to do is first learn what I've got here. So let me select a little piece. Oop. Let me select a little piece right here. And let's learn that. Great. We learned that little piece of uh, fill. Which That's why we're here today. Just that little piece. That's why we're here today. It has a little tick in it, but it won't really matter. So now we're going to click the button Output Ambience Only. Let's select a pretty good amount of, of, uh, of material here. We'll hit render, and now there's a nice perfect piece of ambience that if I needed to get in there and with this guy, let's just do a couple of quick edits. So we need to get in between these pieces. Let's get rid of the fades. Oh, that's too much. Let's select in between. Do a nice little crossfade. Not a fade in, a crossfade. But we haven't been able to study the first galaxies that formed in the universe. We haven't been able to find. I have the up in there, but could you even tell that that was a computer made fill? And I was talking to my friend who's the ADR mixer. What he often has to do is he's recording with maybe really bad production sound and the editor on the stage or the director, they want to hear, okay, can I hear those ADR lines in context? He's not a dialogue editor. He's not going to do a perfect dialogue edit, but what he has to do is present that audio to his client in the best way he could at that moment. And ambience match is a quick down and dirty way for him to say, okay, great. Here's, here's the character A, his audio is gone. Character B, their audio is gone. And it gives you the ability to not have to sit there and look for Phil for two hours or whatever it is. And sometimes, like with this guy, it doesn't even exist. So it gives you options. And that's really, as sound people, that's what we need. We just need the quiver of options sitting on our, on our, on our belt.